Welcome back to BJP Let's Talk, guys. I hope you're having a great day. If you're new here, make sure you click the subscribe button down below right now to be notified when new videos go live. We're gonna start with doing this little free mod that's gonna make the car just pop a little bit more and make it a little bit better and a little bit different because you see on the back here, I already did the diffuser, which you guys have seen in one of my previous videos. But now we have just kind of the basic stock look in the back here. So we have some stuff we need to do. And uh, the first one we're gonna do is just removing these little Dodge emblems. Now, you're gonna need a few things to do this if you've never removed badges or decals or anything like that before. I'm gonna keep these ones for now, like the charger and the scat. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep them for sure or what, but for now I'm gonna keep them. So uh, you're gonna need a few things. You got a heat gun. This is just from Harbor Freight, I think. I'll put a cheap one down in the description from Amazon that you guys can grab definitely recommend those cheap ones because you don't really need anything crazy some uh, fishing lines so this is basically going to be free at most if you don't already have this it's going to be maybe 10 15 dollars or so to do and uh yeah some fishing line and then i always recommend these as well which is just uh some mechanics gloves because the fishing line can be a little annoying and the heat so definitely recommend that but we're gonna go ahead and just remove these dodge letters luckily uh it's a really really hot sunny day for me so these should come off fairly easily i hope we'll see how it's gonna go but hopefully they should just pop right off with some fishing line they might not even need heat you can see that they're moving just with me pushing them so hopefully those come off easily and we don't need to fight with uh with these too much which i shouldn't because it only has like 7500 miles on it. it's fairly new but yeah we're gonna go ahead and jump into this and start removing these one by one it should be fairly simple and then we'll just clean up the underside with some wax or something and call it a day so like i said since it's been hot sitting in the sun it's a black car i'm gonna try and just use just fish line to start without adding heat but you probably should add heat but I'm gonna just do it like this and as you can see it comes right off because like I said it's been hot anyway so plus it's a fairly new car so these will just slide right off and then you see you're left with this little bit of excess uh, this can be easily removed just with your fingers like this like I said use heat and it'll make this a lot easier to come off the uh, the adhesive on the back of it will just kind of come off. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna roll off on these and then I'll show you guys how to get rid of this little bit of like goo at the end. You can just use wax or uh, a couple other things that I have. So I'm gonna remove the rest of these and then we'll peel all this off and I'll uh, show you guys what it looks like. I know a lot of people do this, so you probably already have an idea of what it's gonna look like, but uh, if not, then here we go. Alright, so super simple, just like that, all of those are removed, and now it's just to peel off. Alright, your car's slow, buddy. You get it. Uh, yeah, now it's just to remove this little bit of kind of adhesive, which like I said, you can see there, it just kind of comes off my finger. So let me just rub those off, and then, uh, they, yeah, this mod is pretty much done and free and nice and cheap. So definitely recommend you guys do this to your SCAT or your charger or whatever. Um, if you like the look, if you don't, then I guess don't do it. Again, I always say this in these videos, go ahead and get that little eraser wheel for these 3M adhesive pieces. Um, if you're gonna use it, put it on a drill and then you just, and it just removes all this little stickiness and everything with this little rubber wheel. Top link in the description, it'll be on Amazon. Go ahead and get that, because it makes your life so much easier. I always say it in every video, and here I am still not having one, so. All right, now I'm gonna get some like wax or adhesive remover stuff and uh, yeah, the rest of this will come off uh, fairly easy, I hope. I'm gonna start with uh, trying some Goo Gone here, which if you guys haven't used this, kind of a weird oily substance. Uh, so I'm just gonna try that. Make sure you're wearing gloves, this gross and gets everywhere. And then use a cloth to kind of catch the excess and to wipe it because you don't really want this running all over your paint, right? So.
you can see there that the goo gone basically removed it all now there's just like these little like outline kind of things going on here so um, basically to do that I'm just gonna use this little wax and clay bar kit and clean that up and then basically it's done so after doing that I just have a super wet cloth here and I'm just gonna wash this down because hopefully we can get the rest of this off and get this little bit of clay off and of course there's a uh, there's goo gone everywhere, which we don't want to just stay on the paint. All right, so you guys may know that when you remove any kind of decals like this on a black car mainly, I mean, I did it on my white car before and it was fine, so I didn't have these issues. But uh, if you do have these issues where you get ghosting from the letters, which I don't know if you guys will be able to see, let me get up close. So maybe you guys can see, I don't know if you'll be able to tell here across, but there's ghosting for all the Dodge letters. Uh, you can kind of see it there, I think. And that one maybe, I don't know. But apparently the best way to get rid of this is to grab a couple of microfiber towels, a polishing compound like this one from Turtle Wax, as well as a rubbing co compound like this one from Turtle Turtle wax, which you can see it's pretty gross looking. But yeah, so I'm just gonna start with the, the rubbing compound over these and then uh, we'll use polishing compound. Like I said, you guys are probably gonna be mad. Um, people always get mad about everything, cars and about scratches and all kinds of stuff like that. So we're just gonna get a bit of this on here, something like that maybe. And then we're just gonna put it on and just start rubbing it across basically. You can do circles with this, you know, get some little micro abrasions on there, whatever. Now, you guys might be able to see on camera, I don't know, but you should be able to see on your actual car when you do this that you're going to have basically like minor swirl mark looking things, uh, but you should have the dodge or whatever you're removing that should uh, be gone now, which I don't really see ghosting, which is good. So now all we're going to do, grab our second clean one and our polishing compound, which is going to get rid of those little swirls and stuff like that. So we're just gonna open this baby up and then use a little bit of this the same exact way and that should get rid of all of our ghosting and everything and make it completely clean. Now hopefully you guys can see it's nice and smooth, nice and polished, no more little streaks or any ghosting of the letters, no little scratches, nothing, it's nice and smooth. And look from the back guys, look how good this looks now, so much cleaner. And with everything else that I'm going to do to it, it's going to be... It's going to be perfect, guys. It's on its way. The car is on its way to getting a lot done to it. So that's going to be about it for this video, guys. If you did enjoy, make sure you smash that like button down below to help the YouTube algorithm, help this video get out to more people, and of course, help the channel grow. On that same note, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you click that subscribe button down below right now to be notified when new videos go live. New videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 3 p.m. here on the channel. Of course, check out Shop Lifestyle. Get yourself some Lifestyle merch. But thanks for watching, guys. Peace.